Hi, happy Friday. It's Javi Rappaport here in Torah today. It grows more and more relevant each week. Which one of us is not absolutely spellbound and speechless at the amount of kindnesses that are being orchestrated to our brethren, our brothers and sisters in Eretz Yisrael now? From the plane loads of food, of supplies, of army equipment, of army gear, endless, endless cooking of food, and people going out in the streets and cheering, and the gentleman who quickly made his restaurant kosher so that even one soldier should not miss out on being able to enjoy the food he was providing. There the stories just abound and we can go on and on for days. What a beautiful, compassionate people we are. And where do we get it from? This week's Torah portion, Chaya Sarah. Yeah, Eliezer goes to find a wife for Yitzchak. And he prays, he davens to Hashem. How will I know? I need a really kind woman for him. Compassionate. Well, if she offers me and my camels water to drink, I'll know she is a fitting wife for Yitzchak. He doesn't even finish thinking and praying, and there she is. And she ju does just that. And the Torah tells us specifically that he had 10 camels and mentions the type of animal because the camel guzzles water like no other animal really up to 10 gallons. And Rivka, what was she, three? Some say she may have been 13, but nevertheless, a young girl. She offers to give water to Eliezer, his men, and 10 camels, and doesn't stop until all 10 have had their fill, running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And Eliezer knows she is the woman. And now we know we are the extension of that beautiful compassion. And we are living it and we need to live it consistently. You know, years ago, I believe it was a newscaster who asked the Rebbe, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, what is your message to the world? We need acts, random acts of goodness and kindness, said the Rebbe, to make this world the place it really needs to be. So be the first one to say a kind word. Every time you encounter somebody, leave them feeling a little bit better about themselves. Whatever you have to do, do a little more. Deliver always more than you have to. When my kids were small, I would, <laughs> I would always tell them, whatever you do, do it in such a way you've put your whole heart and soul into it, especially if you are doing something for someone else and you want to sign your name on the bottom because you feel so good about the amount of effort you put in. And you know what they say, go the extra mile. There's very little traffic there. It's all about shining your kindness. It dispels darkness. It brings smiles. It opens up hearts like nothing else. Say a kind word. Do a kind thing. And most of all, become kindness. And let's transform this world to the place where we will quickly, quickly usher in Mashiach. Have the kindest day and Shabbat Shalom.